long pause. Now the kick, here it comes. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! He struck him out with a slider! He has tied the Major League record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts! Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. Fly ball, center field, NCRT on the run, still going on the right track at the wall. this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again everybody, Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in a moment by Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, but first, let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Star starters as voted on by you, the fans. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Now, as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2017 National League All Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. All right, let's get a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the National League All-Stars. And behind the plate, you got Buster Posey. Took him a little while to figure out how to work things in the big leagues, but boy, can he catch. He's still catching throws. He'll fool you every now and then, too, but he calls a tremendous game. Stepping in, Mookie Betts. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Well, that's a great first at bat of the game. And I know it's not just because Batting of the single, second. but he got From it on 3 2. Mariners. You get a chance to see all his pitches, make him work, get deep in the count, and get a base Shut hit. Man, your teammates are loving you right now. In now, Gene Segura takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. 
Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's this lineup have to do tonight in order to get a W here on the road, HR? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Standing in, Mike Trout. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Runner at first here, one man out. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. That was an interesting pitch, Matt. Look, we're in a double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that hard sinker. Get that ground ball, maybe get a double play. But he didn't throw it, he just threw a fastball. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he got Nine it in there for a strike. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Mike Trout is the second out of the opening frame. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Out of play. Two out with a man at first. And another foul ball. Swing and a line drive. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Betts is on his way home. Now the relay home. Tagged by Posey will be too late, safe at home plate. Well, that was a fun play to watch unfold. And as Showtrack tells us, the runner's speed really made all the difference to no one's surprise. He was on his horse from the time the bat hit the ball. So a great job of hustling all the way home and beating the throw. Standing in now, Kyle Seeger. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Here we are in the first inning. We're watching adjustments be made. After giving up that extra base hit, now that's better location. He's gonna... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Home half of the first coming up from Miami. It's the American League one, the National League coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Corey Kluber, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, HR? This guy's been a very reliable, successful big league starter. He's got a career ERA in the low threes. He gets the ball every time you ask him, doesn't complain. I like his attitude, and I'm wondering if he gives the other team a little attitude today. Time for a look at the defense for the AL All-Stars, brought to you by Majestic. At third base, Kyle Seager. He has really turned himself into a nice defender. You'll see him early, extra work, catch as many ground balls as he can. If the ball's hit to him, he's not going to miss it very often. So coming to the plate, Trey Turner. He'll start things out here against Corey Kluber. And there's ball two now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night, it's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. That is that not second. the way he wanted From to start off this half Philly. inning. It's one thing to and walk the leadoff hitter, oh, but it's Google. even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner, and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. 2-1, here it is. There we go. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2-2 two and two now.
And this one's in the dirt. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Another full count pitch home. He'll try it one more time for second. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and Batting second third. now to start the inning. The we knew Dodgers. coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. First and second here with nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key to a home victory, Harold? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, you realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Coming to the plate now, Chris Bryant, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for that sinker down, he throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He, he's forcing you to look somewhere else. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. In the score, the runner from third. Well, that's a nice hit. We're right back where we started with that RBI base hit. The well, game is tied. Rockies, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here's Nolan Arenado. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's a ball lined up and over the head of Segura at short. It's on into left center for a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Man, he turned on that fastball right there. Ripped the line drive and scored the run easy. From the New York Mets, left fielder, Yoannis Chastanez. Into the box, Yoannis Cespedes. Now a swing and a ground ball. and a throw back to second and the runner back in standing. This one's down to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's in time. Oh, and that looked destined to be an RBI, but a highlight reel stab put an end to that thought. And here's that one again with show track. Great reactions to knock it down with the sliding stop, and almost just as impressive was the throw all the way across to beat the runner. Any way you look at it, a fantastic play. Into the box now, Adrian Gonzalez. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So two runs on two base hits, no errors, and two left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the National League 2 and the American League 1. Edwin Encarnacion now. 
He'll get us started in the top of the second. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. All right, let's get a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the National League All-Star. And down at first base, Adrian Gonzalez. You know, the one thing I like that he does probably better than any first base in the baseball is crash on the hitter in a bunt situation. He is convicted. He gets all the way in and dares you to swing. Very aggressive. Stepping into the box, Gary Sanchez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Here's Justin Upton now. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Chasing after it is Herrera. And the inning is over. The American League goes down in order. They're down 2 1. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Trout. Still ranging back. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon, and it gives the National League a three to one lead. Well, he didn't have to supply a whole lot of power with that one. He catches the fastball, and all he had to do is just really make a nice swing, which he did right there. And that ball just did not stop carrying. Here's Buster Posey now. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Line drive to center field. Trout is right there, one down. Time for a look at the defense for the AL All-Stars, brought to you by Majestic. And in the middle infield, Gene Segura. He can play short or second for you, depending on what you want to do with him. And I'll tell you what, he's got the arm and the feet to do it. I love how he's really come on as a player. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Trey Turner. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Hit sharply on the ground. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Odubel Herrera. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Line to the right side. But foul. Two out. Nobody on. There's 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Betts going back on it. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. So one run on one base hit, the home run. No errors and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The NL leads this one three to one. Jordan Kershaw, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. And that'll bring up the speedy Devin Travis. And he'll start out there half of the third, top of the order to follow. Kershaw now on one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Drilled to first. And oh, it comes up on him there as it kicks off the glove. That was really special. You know, he was down the count and he just said, I got a battle. He battled it through and got rewarded with the base hit the other way. in now Mookie Betts now a swing and a hard hit grounder high set by Kershaw now the pitch fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one hoping to send him packing pitch on its way oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out that was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Gene Segura. Fouled back. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Mm, he just missed on that changeup. I like that pitch right there. You got two strikes on him. Throw that changeup and see if he chases it. That time he laid off, but hey, good idea. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Gene Segura goes down for out number two in the top half. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout his lifetime numbers against Kershaw he's gone just two for 15 seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well a dive but he can't make the play and it's down the left field line Travis rounds third and is digging for the plate and not in time as the run scores wow you got to love this aggressive swing here gets the barrel of the bat out in front of the ball and just rips it down the left field line absolutely no play on that ball the second it left the bat nice job picking up the runner in now Nelson Cruz just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul now the one two pitch from Kershaw and a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired so a run on two hits no errors and a man left we'll move on to the bottom of inning number three National Leaguers out in front three to two your attention please now Called to the bullpen the now, and the man making the appearance is the hard-throwing youngster, Chris, Chris Sale. Sale. Matt Baskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak as the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year, Corey Seager, settles in to start things out. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third.
into the box now Chris Bryant takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Now another one two. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Betts. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Here he comes again one two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. Hit well on the ground to first. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Well, Matt, this looks like it's going to be some kind of offense. That's the ninth in between the two teams. The best single right there. Man, are we watching an offensive outburst in just three innings so far? Stepping in now, Nolan Arenado. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Seager rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner from second is in to score. That's never where you want that changeup to be. Up in the zone, he hangs it. He still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon, usually. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. And that's more of a slurve than a slider, but whatever it is, it's one and two. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now, you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first. And Cespedes grounds into a double play. Oh, that double play gave him a really good chance to minimize the damage here. One run has come across, but now he just has to work to strand that runner at third. Would be pretty huge if he can do that. The 0-2 pitch. Hit to short. There's Segura. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. So one run here on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the National League four and the American League two. Jim Johnson, the right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Jim Johnson. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. AJ Pollock is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Number 11, AJ Pollock. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. He's ready with the two two pitch. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Another try at two two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. 
And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Edwin Encarnacion now comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And gone right down the line the other way. Wow. So a solo home run for Edwin Encarnacion as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. You beat the shift. You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. In now, Gary Sanchez. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Three runs, five hits, no errors thus far for the American League. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. The left fielder number two. digging in to try it again. Justin, Justin Upton. Upton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. But the damage is done as thanks to the solo home run. This is now a one-run game. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The NL leads it four to three. Justin Verlander. The 6'5 right-hander takes League, over on the mound. Number 35, Justin Verlander. Riding in once again, Andrew McCutcheon. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. The 1 1 now to McCutcheon. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get into chase right there, making him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. Now a swing and a fly ball and foul. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with a fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught it between. You got him set up perfectly. Now a swing and a miss, and McCutcheon is set down for route number one. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that now high that fastball, a high piece number of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so okay. inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Standing in now, Buster Posey. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. That the ball's right in his wheelhouse. Seven. Man, Second pitcher got lucky. He Ray hit a screaming Turner. line drive. Had he lifted it, he'd be jogging right now for four. Stepping in now. Trey Turner and he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar it's two and two in a double play situation that's the location you want a guy to swing at more than likely he's going to beat it into the ground down the third baseline this is just great pitching they start him off with the slider to get the strike and then they bust him in with a fastball I don't know what he's thinking up there but they really are messing with his mind right now and they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. You want to talk about speed? Watch him here on this isolation replay. Is he flying or what? I love how smooth he runs. And he just burst it down the line. Into the box, A.J. Pollard. He swings and runs at the short. And that's through into center field. Base hit. In quickly with it is proud, and that'll hold the runner at third base. Well, that one's going to load well, the bases up. Five. They held the runner Trump's up. They're really looking for a big oh, yeah. inning right Singer. here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up.
Into the box now. Corey Seager. Oh, high. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. So he will touch them all on the grand slam as they open it up to eight to three. Well, you hit a grand slam in the All-Star game with the best players in the world. I think you got a good shot at being the MVP. That was an impressive swing. What a fun time he's made this game for all of us tonight. Here's Chris Bryant now. Two base hits, both singles to this point. One and one, here it comes. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Well, he's struggling. The team's doing well. What's he do? He goes up there and swings the ball out of the zone. I want to be in the action, too. That's what he's thinking with that swing. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Wow, his manager must have a okay, lot of faith in him, and I'm not baseman. sure why. He's given no up five Aaron hits Lalo. in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games. And he's a big part of it right here. That's his third oh, RBI. Good, and they extend the lead in this ballgame. Yo, what a Standing in now, Joannis Cespedes. And he misses two and one. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. The two one pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Hit back up the middle. Segura for one on to Encarnacion and it's in time for the double play and the inning is over four to six to three they roll it up to get out of the jam don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this Rysel Iglesias a six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound Rysel Iglesias Digging in for his second at bat, Devin Travis. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, right fielder. Here's Mookie Betts. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Three runs, five hits. No errors thus far for the American League. Down low, two balls and a strike. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. Three and one to this guy. Whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count that gets him excited. Hit hard on the ground to second. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter number two. Gene Segura standing in. Gene His lifetime Segura. numbers against Iglesias over five. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. 1 2 3 go the American League. Still way back. It's 9 to 3. 
Your Drew Pomerantz gets the call to pitch here, and he'll American try to League. sort this mess Number out. 31. He's going to try to at least Drew eat a couple of Pomerantz. innings for his guys. Here's Adrian now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That's a ball. And a fastball just a bit high. Here's the 2 1 to Gonzalez. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Well, maybe that fooled him, or maybe he wasn't looking for it, but man, he hung him a curveball right there in the middle. For him to not swing the bat, being the power hitter he is, who sees a lot of breaking pitches, makes me think he's looking for something else. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. The next 3-2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try it again, three and two. This is on the ground over to first, taken in by Encarnacion, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, right fielder. Digging in once Andrew. again, Andrew McCutcheon he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball called strike one and two. The one and two pitch grounded back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one out single. Wow, he's got to be frustrated with that pitch. Did a nice job of getting ahead of the hitter. Wanted to go to change up to put him away and just hung it up there a little bit too long. Barnhart will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Trey Turner. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So a good bounce back inning here after the five run outburst last time around. Five innings complete. The NL's on top, nine to three. Tucker Barnhart will stay in the this ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now catching number 16, Tucker Barnhart. Max Scherzer takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Max Scherzer. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Past battles with Scherzer, three base hits in 16 tries. He's taken him deep once. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cespedes is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The batter, designated hitter. Here's Nelson, Nelson Cruz now. Cruz. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Here's the one and two delivery. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. 
There's a foul ball off to the right side and that'll move the count to one and two. Again a one two. Hit hard on the ground towards second and that'll get on through into center and he's got himself a one out hit. Well he saw everything in the kitchen sink. He fouled off Third a bunch of pitches and then was able Kyle to get the pitch he Speaker. wanted and get a base hit. Into the box, Kyle Seeger turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The next 3 2. On the ground to second base, this could be two. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And McCutcheon won't get him. He's in there at third. Well, this is how rallies start. You get one man on and you get the base hit. Look, it's Edwin. still early. And I know they're down by a lot, but man, this is how little things add up. They need to score this inning and then from there continue to add on. Into the box now, Edwin Encarnacion. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. He'll try again one two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Stepping in now Gary Sanchez a swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance Pollard going back on it he tracks it down and that will end the inning. Hey, I'll leave a pair. Still way back. It's nine to three. Cole Hamels gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in and ready for another shot, A.J. Pollock. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. Hamels ready with the 1-1. One -one. Hit on the ground to third. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. And here's that one again with show track. Great reactions to knock it down with the sliding stop. And almost just as impressive was the throw all the way across to beat the runner. Any way you look at it, a fantastic play. Standing in now, Corey Seeger. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Curtis Granderson. Into the box now, Curtis Granderson. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Hamels peers in. Here's the one and one. Takes a knee high fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's the one and two delivery. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Justin Upton will start things out when we return. Seventh inning coming up. It's the National League 9 and the American League 3. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network. National Leaguers leading this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's have a look at our game summary for the first six innings. Mark Melanson 
comes on to start the inning and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Mark Valencia. Digging in once again, Justin Upton. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Martin Prado has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Martin Prado. Will Myers is into the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Now playing first base, number four, Will Myers. Now here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. And that'll bring up the speedy Devin Travis. He's one for two in the ball game. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind. They have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Smoked on the ground up the middle. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. Adam Jones will get the call to pinch hit here, as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Jones. Two out, nobody on. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. Here it comes on nothing and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Another one sent foul. The 0-2 once more. Two strike pitch is chopped foul at the plate and will do it again. The next 0 2. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Nothing doing there for the American League. Still way back, it's 9 3. Adam Jones will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field. Number 10. Kelvin Herrera Adam comes on to Jones. pitch now, hoping for now better results the than the League. other arms that they've Number run out 40. there in this one. Kelvin Herrera. Martin Prado now. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Three and one, here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Played on the backhand. One away. The left fielder, number 52. Here's you on a Past meetings with Kelvin Herrera, one for three. He also has one home run. Here's the one and one pitch. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, one and two now. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Oh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit back up the middle. Segura has it. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. And L down in order, but they lead it by a margin of 9 to 3. Brian Dozier 
is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Brian Dozier. Sun Huan enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Bryce Harper is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. Now playing left field, number 34, Bryce Harper. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. A look there at our all-star line score. The National League leading this one in the eighth over their American League rivals in a game that's certainly been an entertaining one to this point. Gerard Dyson American will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get Gerard something started here with one gone in the inning. One out, nobody on. High pop-up. Oh, has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. Wilson Ramos will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the National League nine and the American League three. Brian Dozier will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Number two. Brian Gerard Dyson will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Ty Kimbrell and is now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. David Peralta. He's going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. But this will land untouched. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Jones is under it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Patrick. Digging in for his second Tucker. at bat. Barnhart. Tucker Barnhart. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Upton is under this one, and he's got it for out number two. Now back. The speedy Second, Trey one. Turner digs in Trey now. Turner. He's working on a one for three thus far. Brandon Phillips. Please. We'll get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Dyson on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the National Leaguers. But they lead it by a margin of nine to three. David Peralta will stick around as he'll take over in right field. 
Now playing right field. Brandon Phillips number six. will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Now at second base, number four, Madison Bumgarner comes on to start now the inning and he'll have a huge lead. lead to work with. Number 40, Madison Bumgarner. Todd Frazier is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth and with his club already well down he'll just need to try and get on base here. Hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Swing and a hot shot toward third. But there to spirit is Prado. Quick hands for the first down. Number 10. A reminder to stick around after our ball game comes to an end as we'll wrap up All-Star festivities with post-game highlights following our sign-off here tonight. Eric Cosmer will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Eric Cosmer. Gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The 3 2 one more time. This one skied out toward right. Peralta is under it. Two down. Ready for another shot now. Gary Sanchez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. This is foul right side. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Fouled straight back. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Hit down the third baseline. Pro on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got a hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can post to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. Corey Kluber only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. The final line score of our ball game tonight for the victorious National League All-Stars. Nine runs on 13 hits. Three and two. High fly ball to center and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game.